Hey, welcome back guys. This is Beamer Merchant doing another do-it-yourself video. Today we're going to go ahead and focus on removing a driver's side fender out of a BMW E39 540i. The removal process should be the same for most E39 5 Series models such as the 540, 530, 525i. Uh, we're working on the driver's side but the same process should be the same on the passenger side. We got a special treat for you today. Uh, Seth's gonna go ahead and uh, guide us through this uh, video. He's gonna go ahead and show us what to do. So let us get started first. Okay, what tools are we gonna be using? So today we're gonna be using a um, impact tool. We're gonna need a flashlight. We got a 3 8 extension. You want a minimum eight inch. We have a 10 millimeter socket. We have a 13 millimeter socket, 3 8 ratchet, and a T30 Torx. So the first thing we did is we jacked up the car, removed this tire on the side we're going to be working on. It's uh, easier to gain access in here. I also removed the um, move the fender liner to give us access to two of the or three of the bolts that are going to be in here. Those are going to be 10 millimeter bolts. I also removed the front bumper. You don't need to do this in the process, but for today we're doing it as a visual to show you the 10 millimeter going to be underneath right there so this is all just a prep work we did okay so we have three 10, 10 millimeter bolts in here you're going to need the extension to get the two far ones that are going to meet where the door is the door jam we got one up there one down here a little bit lower and then we have an easy one to get right here it's going to be going downwards Those out there in the fender liner. Right. Okay, now we're going to remove the little 10 millimeter at the front. Okay. Okay. We also have one more back here, another 10 where the A pillar meets. So we're gonna knock that out. Easy as that, keep track of all of our bolts. All right, just to uh, re uh, recap here, it's six 10 millimeter bolts you gotta remove. Okay, now we're gonna go on the bolts, the torques on the fender. One word of caution is these bolts, be sure that when you're removing them, put pressure on top of the, of the torques. Otherwise, you can strip it fairly quickly, and if you do, you would have to go ahead and drill those out. So, we're using an impact gun right now. We've also done this plenty of times, so we know what we're doing. Yeah, we couldn't use the impact gun there because uh clearances clearance lots of downward pressure you can hear it's cracking don't worry about that it's normal it's locked tight and all right now we're gonna bring uh big guns here our buddy chris sporting our beamer merchant shirt he's gonna go ahead and hold the hood while seth Releases, what is that, 13? Yes, yeah, so we got two 13s right here that are holding the hood down for the hood lock. So we're gonna have to remove them because there's gonna be little holes that go all the way through. So we're gonna set those to the side. We're gonna be careful and let our buddy know once we're ready to pull them out so he can lift upwards and we can slide the fender off. Now we're ready to remove the fender. So you see it slides right out. These are the holes I was talking about. Helps guide it in, help you position the new hood. 
Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna undo this clip right here for your side marker. Okay, so this is how you guys remove a fender. And again, it works on both sides, passenger and driver. And now with this, Seth, what do we do? So right here, you can either have your buddy hold it up while you slide the new fender on, or if you're gonna have it here in place for a while, you're gonna reinsert the bolts and you're gonna tighten them down snug so that way the hood stays uh, in its proper position. All right, guys, that's how you remove a fender. If you have any questions, com comments, let us know. If you need any more uh, pre-owned quality BMW parts, check out our website posted below. Thanks for watching. You have an awesome day. Take care. Thanks, Seth.